can see that this is the S&P 500. All right, um, sorry, not so This is the um, total assets of the Federal Reserve, okay? So you can see that from 9th of March till the 16th of March to the 23rd of March, the Federal Reserve have been pumping at least $60 billion into the system, okay? $60 billion into the system. Now, if you look this now with the most recent, the chart recently, let's take a look. You would observe, yeah. Right, you can observe that on the 9th of March, that is somewhere around here. Yep, can you see the screen right now? On the 9th of March, here we are. Let me just double up my screen up here. Something I need to do this prospect here. Okay, come on. Here we go. Okay. All right. On the 9th of March, you can see right here now. This is the 9th of March. This area. So this is 9th of March. This area. Now, what do you see? You can see that from 9th of March to 16th of March, the market, the Federal Reserve increased the amount of money into the Fed Fund balance sheet. And of course, do you see instant reaction? The market really went up. Then on the 16th to the 23rd of March, they increased the amount again. So again, you can see that the stock market also at the same time went up by 250 points. Now you understand why itself people are asking with the inverted yield curve happening, how come the stock market is rising? Because isn't that inverted yield curve supposed to be in, in a very important point to tell you that there will be a recession? But the problem is because you keep on pumping money in the system, and when you pump in, the rest of the boys saw it, they will follow through. And because of that itself, right, what happened? It's no-brainer. The market will go higher. This is absolutely right. Can you see that? Okay. Now, this is where the turning point comes in. On the 23rd of March, right, that was the last day they pump in money. Very right? interesting. This is where by now, there are some profit-taking, or at least you can consider reducing but the stock market went up instead, although the last few days, the market came down. Mm, interesting. So that means that we can speculate that maybe these are all the residue that came in to chase after the wind. And then what happened is, uh, right, you can see the last few days when there are, the QT is ongoing, reduction itself, the stock market pulled back as fast as it can. So this is something that we all know that, right, if this is to really goes down in this manner, which is expected to happen, then there is a small chance to see this, that 4,300 to 4,200 can be done. All right? So it's a chicken and egg thingy. If let's say now QT continue to happen, and let's say on Wednesday, they gave a specific figure, the market will really calculate that how much likely the S&P may fall. And that is where the market likely will be going towards there itself. So that's the reason why you can understand now why the market has been moving up because Basically, granddaddy, grandfather have been pumping lots of money into the system, even though they say that they won't do it. Now, if you look at fully what they say, they say that they're going to end it in March. So they did not say that which day of March. So a lot of people thought that it could be start of the March, right? But actually, it's then on the March. So which means that they're still pumping the last, last drop into the market until the 23rd of March. Mm, now you understand why? That's why on the 23rd of March itself, right, the market actually continue to go up a few more days before the market taper off on profit taking. Got it? All right. So this is very, very important information for you. That's why I want to share this with you. Okay. Got it now? Yeah?